Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This will be from the 4th to the 10th of July 2022 and the reading won't be for everyone so just take what resonates with you as always. So let's see what we have for you for the week Taurus. Message for Taurus for the week please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Taurus for the week. So we have the King of Swords, can be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, male or female, or the energy of the card. Um, can also be any sign who manifests as the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. The Hanging Man. The Hermit, the Eight of Wands, Faith, which is the card of Taurus, but in this deck, which is the Tarot of Dreams, it's called Faith. And we have the Five of Wands, bottom of the deck, the Moon. There's a, there's a lot of stuck energy here, Taurus. You know, I've got the Eight of Wands, I've got the Hanged Man, I've got the reflective energy of the Hermit. But then I have the King of Swords, which is almost kind of like somebody has been stuck. And then we have this clarity. So let's see, it could be your energy, it could be somebody bringing that to you. Let's see what we have. Let's clarify this King of Swords, please, for Taurus. Thank you. We have the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Okay. This is somebody who's bringing you the news. I mean, it could be you making your mind up on how to move forward as well, but it feels, it feels more somebody is bringing you the news or might be giving you some advice. Because the King of Swords is, is King of Air, so very intellectual very knowledgeable very um clear thinking so you could be connecting to somebody who could be giving you advice on how to move forward here again the eight of wands can also be communication coming out of the blue from this king of swords so it might well be all of a sudden this is the shift that you've been waiting for and it feels more like that kind of energy so let's uh, clarify a little bit more why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Thank you. We have the Six of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups, a wish coming true. Let's clarify a bit more. Let's clarify the Hanging Man. Why is the Hanging Man here for Taurus? Thank you. Okay, we have that with the Devil. Let's clarify the Hermit. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords. I feel this is like healing energies, healing a conflict. So Taurus, this, this feels like an energy for some of you of Someone has been through uh, this kind of even repeating cycle where they've been left waiting, left hanging. And 
there's negative thinking associated with that. But it does feel in this energy here, someone seeing the reality of a situation for what it is and is ready to do the right thing. This King of Swords, King of Communication, Decisive Energy, um, is seeing the truth of the situation for what it is and is taking action. Maybe, and it feels in this energy, someone's ready to do the right thing in moving forward where they weren't prepared to move forward in a situation before. Now, the Six of Cups, you know, again, they weren't prepared to move forward before. And I feel that there was negative thinking associated with that. The Six of Cups is the energy here of, of a soul connection, somebody who you have history with, nostalgia with, memories with. Because this was an energy here of, of getting your wish. Somebody, uh, somebody wasn't prepared to give you your wish before, wasn't prepared to move forward in this situation before. But it does feel now that they are. This is a card of celebration, joy, happiness. You're getting what you want. Having been left hanging for a period of time. And really, if I took, I mean, the Six of Cups can also be somewhere, somewhere you've had history and nostalgia and memories with. So... I mean, this could well be, for some of you, a place that you've worked with for a long time. It could be family as well that you've been with for a long time. The, the main message is somebody has been left hanging, and I feel this is you. You've been waiting for something or waiting for somebody to do the right thing in whatever context this is. And there is a feeling here, certainly with the faith card. I mean, the faith card is the card of Taurus, but it can be a card of having faith. An interesting faith has come out. Um, it, it does feel in this energy, uh, there's been some kind of repeating negative cycle and a strong energy here of, of it, I'm, I'm getting very clearly somebody has been left hanging for a period of time, but there's finally a movement forward and positive shifts. Because the faith card can also be linked with, if it's to do with relationships, this can be linked to long-term committed relationship marriage. But it, it indicates here the, the next natural step. And somebody hasn't been prepared to take the next natural step. Now, that could well be in an organization where you've been waiting for a promotion. It could well be in terms of... Um, family for some reason where you were waiting for the next natural step whatever that would be uh, but it it can be for some of you in terms of love romance relationships where you were waiting for marriage or you're waiting for the next natural commitment but were left hanging as a result of that and it's been a bone of contention it's been a bone of contention because it cast doubt I feel on the whole thing you know this 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 energy of the moon it just feels like it cast doubt on 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 the whole thing in terms of how you're moving forward you know this this energy of uncertainty and doubt um but it does feel that healing is available because i mean the six of swords represents that you overcome the issue that you faced and start moving forward to better times this can also be linked with healing as well um but there's a strong energy here taurus of certainly with um if this is your energy and now you're feeling, I need to do the right thing. This is about finding answers from within in terms of embracing healing, in terms of moving in the right direction, the honourable direction, the fair direction here. And for others of you, this can be healing in other areas, like I said, or resolving the issue that you faced by illumination being presented on what the true path is to, to, uh, to what the right thing is to do. Uh, somebody find, finding illumination on that front to resolve an ongoing conflict, argument, disagreement in some way. So it feels in this energy for some of you, there's this positive shift on somebody doing the right thing, somebody moving forward. Now, this can also be linked for some of you with a third party giving you advice and guidance. So this could well be for some of you that you might have connected to things like if it was in relationships, a marriage counsellor, or it could well be somebody giving you advice in certain situations that, that help, you, help you see the way forward or help somebody see the way forward where they didn't before or help somebody do the right thing where they weren't prepared to do that before. So this can be a bit of that energy as well. But the main message is that where somebody was left hanging, there's a strong energy here of... of you finally overcome the issue that you face, put the conflict behind you and move forward in the right direction. 
Uh, so there's positive shifts, the eight of wands, positive shifts, po positive movements forward as a result of that is what I'm getting the strongest here, Taurus. Uh, so that's what I have for you for the week. Final message for Taurus, thank you. Yeah, we've got the energy of light. So life energy, the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.